Alright guys, back again for another review. Big Tom. Damien. Today we're going to be doing the K-Fun Clones. Yeah, basically we've got a clone sent to us from Gary at Kerno Vapes. He has sent us the EH Pro 3.1 ES clone in this box here. And the uh, light clone um, that he has. Um, he's currently selling these on his website for $34.99. Now we all know what a K-Fun is, um, pretty much most. You right there Tom? Pretty much uh, nearly everybody has either had one or um, has uh, has got one. And um, the clones have all started coming out. Now there's a few clones, there's the H Cigar clone, there's the Tobacco clone and there's the EH Pro clones. Um, the H Cigar is pretty much a 1-1 clone, um, even down to the um, logos. The Tobacco clone is more of a clone of the, the um, K-Fun Lite Plus. Um, with the adjustable air hole at the bottom and the EH Pro clone um, are pretty much just a clone but without any of the engravings or without the Svo Mesto. Um, the, ver the light version has a tighter draw mm. on it, it doesn't actually have any uh, airflow control um, but it does have a uh, tighter draw than the uh, original K-Fun light. A lot of people complained that it was a bit of an airy draw on the light Personally, I didn't mind it, um, but this this clone here has got a, a, a tighter draw. It's got a smaller air hole, and the 3.1 ES clone um, from EH Pro is pretty bang on. Um, they come in sort of like a semi-polished finish, yeah. and uh, yeah, they do the trick. What do you think? I like it, me eh? honestly. I do. I love it. Um, I did have the original gear from, but I like it. You yeah. got like the tighter draw, but I think it's nice. no. I'm not. I'm personally for me, the draw on the light is a uh, pretty pretty tight for me. Um, I, I like a little bit of an airy draw, maybe like a, a 1.2, 1.5 mil air hole. Um, this is more like a one mil air mm. hole, um, so it's quite a tight draw. But for those who do, who didn't like the area draw on the uh, K Fun light. Um, this is this is quite cool, you know. Or you know, and uh, for 35 quid, it's half price, mm. and it doesn't have the logos on it, which is great because uh, a lot of people don't like having the snide logos on them. You know, um, yeah, it's it's great. Uh, they come in a nice little box like this. Leather pouch, yeah. Yeah, nice. um, comes with a steel tank. Um, it comes with a frosted window, um, so it's not clear like the uh, original K funds. You also get some silica wire and a little screwdriver inside. Um, the 3.1 ES does have the bigger bottom base, it does have airflow control like you would find on the uh, genuine one and um, yeah the K-Fun Lite just comes with uh, no airflow control so it's it's not like the Tobacco Clone, it's not like the Russian 91%, it's it's just like the Lite but with a tighter draw um, and for £35 it's pretty much half price. Mm. Um, they look the part they're a little bit more square than uh, rounded than the um, actual true genuine K fun. Um, you can they, tell really, can't you? Yeah, yeah it, a little bit more square and all that, but they do the job. They um, don't have any chrome plated brass in it. <laughs> thank Jesus. You know, uh, they are all stainless steel. Come in a nice polished finish, and uh, yeah, they're pretty damn good. They vape really nice. Um, yeah, they do. I haven't. Yeah, they vape pretty nice. Yeah, it's it's decent. It's bang on. Um, obviously different finish but there's no logo so yeah no logos no logos on the top well the light didn't have any anyway it had the uh, Svo Mesto bottom, and made yeah. in Germany on the bottom this doesn't have anything on there you've got your uh, fill hole works just like it did on the light you've got your uh, drip tip and it even comes with this strange little drip tip adapter like a little stumpy thing mm. that you've got in it which is quite strange because uh, most drip tips do fit in the top of them anyway um, and the K Fun Light, uh, the K Fun 3.1 ES as well comes just like that. It's not like the actual genuine 3.1 where you get a screw in drip tip mm. plus you get an adapter. Um, this comes with your standard 510 connection at the top, but it does come with this little weird stumpy drip tip sort of thing. I thought it was a drip tip at first, thinking I'm going to be stuck in the top of my carefully. Yeah, it's a bit too small, but it, I think it is meant to be a drip tip adapter, but it's a 510 connection anyway. So it's sort of like, sort of like that goes on there and kind of like that. It's a bit weird. It just makes you have a, <laughs> a longer drip tip. 
So uh, that's odd. But yeah, you can get these from uh, www.kernovapes.co.uk. I will put the website above my head there. Um, currently at thirty four ninety nine. Gary's got a few new rebuildables in stock mm. at the moment. He has sent us over. We've also got a scrape um, and a Prometheus Genesis atomizer as well that he has got. So um, he's got a few new bits and pieces on there. So uh, for the new year, you grab yourself a nice bargain if you uh, don't want to pay the uh, sixty six pound ninety five for a true K Fun Light Plus, because the light is now discontinued, um, then you can go on there and get yourself a uh, 3.1 ES EH Pro clone for half price. Mm. So if you can have one of each for the uh, price of a true K Fun, exactly. which is a, a pretty much a bargain. You know. So all there is, we'll go down, um, Damien will show you how to do what not with it, take it apart and whatnot. So we'll have a look. Yeah, and, uh, I mean, Everyone kind of knows how to wick a K-Fun and yeah. things like that, but um, we haven't done one yet, so uh, we'll go down to the table now, I'll show you all the bits and pieces, and I'm going to do the old Navy Nest wicking method, which is the one I personally prefer because it has good flavour, and uh, we'll come back and tell you our thoughts. Safe. Okay, so here you have your K-Fun 3.1 ES clone from uh, made by EH Pro from Kerno Vapes. As you can see, all these sections pretty much looks exactly the same as a K-Fun 3.1 ES. You have your uh, base unit here with your um, airflow control, your air hole, and your fill hole with a little grub screw inside that you'd use a flathead for. You have your clear tank window. Um, a little bit cheap and nasty, this. It, it just feels a bit rough, and it's frosted as well, so uh, it's just a little bit of a downer, but hey, with the money you save, who cares? Um, you have your other tank sections here, and you have your chimney section right there, and your top cap, and uh, drip tip. It's nice. Okay, let's move these back and I'll show you what else you get in the box. In the box you get your uh, stainless steel tank, which is a nice finish. You get uh, this strange little drip tip adapter. I don't really understand it because it seems to be 510 itself, but hey, you've got it. Um, some echo wall, you get some spare o-rings and screws, which is always handy because of the little screws that you get inside a K-Fun. You get this small screwdriver like you would get with the K-Fun Lite or the K-Fun Lite Plus. And you get some uh, camphor wire, which is uh, handy. There we go, in a nice little presentation box. Now, I'm going to keep it nice and simple when I wick this for the review. I've just basically got a piece of 2 mil silica with uh, 5 wraps of 0.2 camphor wire. So uh, you can double this over to give yourself maybe 4 mil. You can even use 3 mil and double that over to get 6. Um, but, um, you know, this is nice and simple here just to show you how to wick it. Now, first of all, I'm going to put my silica at a diagonal over the middle section of the uh, posts and uh, just wrap my first one underneath like so there we go get that one underneath tighten it down and the same on the other side as well you should have something like that to start. Now also what I do is I like to lift up, or you should lift up the coils in the middle to get them away from that air hole. So almost like a little bridge inside like that. So just get a little flat head, lift it up a section so you're not blocking the air hole and therefore you won't get any flooding or dry hits. That's it, like a little bridge. Okay, I'm going to put this on my Nemesis now. Give it a little pulse, just to check all our coil is nice, with no hot spots, nice and even. And they're all lighting up there, very nice. Lovely. Happy with that. Now I'm going to get rid of the excess wire, so just take your nail clippers if you have them. Give that a snip. There we go, superb. Okay, now what we want to do is place our wick down on these two ledges here, therefore so we can get the juice to feed up from the bottom up onto these ledges. So I'll just give them a little turn and pull one up on one side and the same on the other side, so they're kind of like opposite each other. And just have them pointing up like so. Take this section of your chimney place over the top and over the wick 
and screw it down. There we go. And you should have it feeding down like so. Can I focus that any better for you? There you see. Okay, give it another little light. See we're okay. Yep, we're all lighting a treat. Brilliant. Okay, now what we're going to do for the Navy nest is we're going to snip a little bit of this off so you get them nice and even like so. Make a nice mess again. Now I'm going to take my flathead screwdriver and I'm going to push down the wick almost like in a circle. So I push it down he says and the same on the other side push the wick down and you should have something like that as you can see it sort of goes round leaving your coil in the middle so you push them down so they're sort of touching each other check your coils again Lighting up nice. Brilliant. Now take a little piece of juice, a little bit of juice, and just wet the coil a little bit. Just let it wick a little in there. Superb. Put your chimney section back on, the top part. Take a little drag and see if you're happy with it. Which indeed I am. So now you can build up your cave fun again. Like so. Okay, remove your little grub screw from your fill hole. Be careful with this, it's a tiny little thing. Take some juice. I've got a uh, Creative Vapes banana custard here. Seeing as Billy was closed over Christmas, he is back open now, old Vaping King. Take your needle, pop it into your fill hole, and fill with juice. Nice and easy. Take your grub screw, Put it back in. And you should be ready to vape. Take a couple of poles, put your finger over the air hole just to let it feed into the... That'll do. There we go. k fun vape. Very nice. Alright guys, after looking at the K-Fun, it's pretty much the same. Uh, vape's the same, tastes the same, you know, build it the same. It's just without the logos and just a little bit of difference on the finish, really. Yeah, I mean, there's a, like we said before, there's a lot of clones out there. There's the H-Scarp, there's the Tobacco, and uh, there's the EH Pro. EH Pro always make good clones, they always make good copies, always reliable. Um, comes with all the parts, comes with a nice box, um, both tanks. No logos, like Tom said, which is always nice a good finish and um, it vapes exactly the same. We have, we've had no leaking problems, we've had no uh, well, dry hits really because a K-Fun is a, a pretty nice and all round atomizer to wick so if you know what you're doing, as you saw there you could use a couple of uh, different techniques. I always use the Navy Nest, I think it gives a good amount mm. of flavour on it. Um, the 3.1 ES version on uh, Kerno Vapes um, does have the um, airflow control 
However though, one small little drawback is, even though you're filling it from the side with the needle, you do have to put the grub screw back in, obviously to stop it from, from coming out, whereas on the actual genuine 3.1 ES you don't need to put the grub screw in, but it's not really a problem, it's just another little screw to deal with, you know, K funds are all about screwing. <laughs> so uh, there you go. Now um, you can get these once again from Carno Vapes, the website is above my head right now, $34.99, but be quick because they are flying out at the moment, um, you know, he's not got too many left, and he's also got some other bits there, so uh, go and check it out. Now, when Gary sent these to us, Tom and I was like, well, who's going to have the 3.1 ES, and who's going to have the light? And he's like, oh, we could do a giveaway, and I was like, no, fuck them. Um, <laughs> who's going to have the 3.1 ES, and who's going to have the light? So, um, you know, I'd like the 3.1 ES personally, because I like a bit more airflow, um, I like a looser draw, um, and the uh, K-Fun light, for me, is just a little bit too tight. So we came up with a plan. Now, we can't arm wrestle, because we all know I'm stronger than Tom. Um, so we came up with this. It's the Cracker Challenge. <laughs> now, as you all know, crackers are quite dry. And um, <laughs> there is this little competition where you have to eat as many crackers as you can in a minute and uh, see if you can take them down. So we've designed this little game where we are going to time 60 seconds and Tom and I are going to see how many crackers we can eat in the 60 <laughs> seconds. And the winner will get the K-Fun 3.1 ES <laughs> and the one who does not win gets the light. So there's kind of no losers yeah. in this one. Um, somebody gets something. So uh, Tom, when you're ready, please count us down. Six seconds on the clock. Three, two, one, go. And go. Mm -mm. Oh, one. Thank <laughs> you. 